President Trump is expanding his attacks again, stoking racial divisions, now calling on NASCAR's only black full-time driver, Bubba Wallace, to apologize for what the president says was just another hoax. After the FBI determined last month that Wallace was not the target of a hate crime when a noose was found in his assigned garage at Talladega Speedway. In fact, it was not Wallace, but his teammate who found the noose and alerted NASCAR. The racing community at the time lining up behind Wallace, bringing him to tears. Wallace's response on Monday, always deal with the hate being thrown at you with love, even if it's hate from the POTUS. The president's also falsely claiming NASCAR is seeing its lowest ratings ever, blaming its recent ban of the Confederate flag. Does he believe NASCAR should fly the Confederate flag, and why don't they fly it here? Uh, the ban on the flag was mentioned in the broader context of the fact that uh, he rejects this notion that somehow NASCAR men and women who go to these sporting events are racist. NASCAR in a statement says it continues to stand tall with Bubba, our competitors, and everyone who makes our sport welcoming and inclusive for all racing fans. As for ratings, NBC Sports says last weekend's race was up nearly 50% over last year. And Lindsey Graham, a close ally of the president, is directly refuting President Trump. I've lived in South Carolina all my life, and if you're in business, the Confederate flag is not a good way to grow your business. I don't think Bubba Wallace has anything to apologize for. And seizing on another cultural controversy, the president's also criticizing two sports franchises, the Washington Redskins and Cleveland Indians, for considering a change to their mascots that many see as offensive, inflaming tensions by tweeting, they name teams out of strength, not weakness, but now two fabled sports franchises look like they're going to be changing their names in order to be politically correct. And speaking to some of the president's allies, they're expressing real frustration with the president's latest attacks. They say less than four months until the election and trailing in the polls, President Trump needs to refocus his attention on his accomplishments and on Joe Biden, not on racial divisions. But they acknowledge the president is the one driving the train.